Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris. Thank you for joining me for this video. This is going to be a video featuring, big surprise, <laughs> some resin. Okay, so I want to thank these guys right here at Total Boat for helping me and sponsoring this video. This is a, an attempt uh, to use resin in a way that I haven't seen used before. Now, I think the Makerspace has been really using this for about 10 years, making river tables. I know I've done quite a few things. I've, I've made river serving trays with actual cicadas and bugs in it. Um, I've made pins, writing utensils, pins out of bread. You're gonna see pictures around here of things I've done out of epoxy. It's pretty fun stuff to work with. And I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon because of the creative aspect that it gives people, not only working with wood, but other materials as well. So this is gonna be a simple method, but I think it's something that no one's seen before. So here's my attempt at doing epoxy in a way, well, you just have to wait and find out. So let's go, let's get right into it. So let me just start off by saying, as you see me cut this piece of cypress here, this is not a revolution in using resin. This is a simple trick that I found while using it. And I really hope that you guys don't see this coming. I really hope that you stay to the end and see the, the kind of trickery that is used by using these techniques. And I really hope you enjoy it. Now, that being said, as you see me cut the uh, curves here on the bandsaw, don't go skipping all the way to the end and spoil it for yourself. Just hang in here with me and watch it. And I think you'll be surprised. Okay, so simple enough. I have a piece of wood here. I'm gonna put a simple quarter inch round over on it with my trim router. Reason being, when you pour epoxy on wood, sometimes it's nice to have a sloped edge, at least a quarter of an inch to give the epoxy somewhere to run off of. If you leave it flat or 90 degrees to each other, it, it kind of creates a break and you're able to see some of the wood through the epoxy as it pours over. All right, now it's time to get everything in its place. I've taken a roll of paper that I've mounted underneath my workbench. This comes in handy when using uh, projects like this or when making projects like this. A little bit of a silicone mat here from Rockler, and then we're gonna start pouring our resin. This is the two-part high-performance resin from Total Boat. Again, huge thank you to them for helping me make this video. And I'm gonna section this off into smaller cups because I'm gonna make various different colors. These colors are from a company called Black Diamond Pigments. Again, they'll be linked below as well. If you wanna check some of their stuff out, and also you can see here, we're going for a goldish, a orangish, I'm not sure what the names of these colors are, forgive me, uh, but they may offer pretty cool sample packs of a whole bunch of different colors, which is actually a great little thing to get. And it's pretty reasonable in price too. So we're going for a blue, a charcoal or a black, a gold and an orange. And here we go. Let's go ahead and get this party started. And as you can see, it's gonna take shape here just in a minute. So as you see me laying these colors down, I'll make sure to take a gloved hand. And I'm gonna mix them in just a little bit on the board. The effect I'm going for, well, you're just gonna have to wait for that. You're gonna be surprised, I hope. Now we're gonna take some of that charcoal color. We're gonna mix it in with a heat gun. Using this heat gun really speeds up the endothermic reaction and it kind of creates sometimes this, this little bubbling effect or this boiling effect, which is the exactly the effect I'm going for. But just wait, you're gonna see how this turns out. And as it's coming together, I'm realizing this is probably the coolest pattern that I've ever made with epoxy. And I'm so happy it turned out this way, but I did make a mistake and well, I had a little more black to it and uh, I'll explain myself here. Well, I think this is a complete failure. I, so I redid it and yeah, let's, Let's look how I redid it. All right, so I wasn't real wild about the blue color. It's not the pigment's fault or the epoxy's fault. It's just something I preferred. So I'm taking another board and I'm spraying it a blue spray paint just to make it easy. At this point, I'm gonna use Total Boat's tabletop epoxy this time, mixing in the same kind of color palette. As you see, we got the yellow, we've got the orange, and we've got the black. And again, I don't need to mix the blue because the board's already blue. So this is the technique we're gonna use. Same as before, we're gonna basically put these on the board we're gonna kind of rub them and blend them in together with a gloved hand. And then I'm gonna add the black or the charcoal after I put this heat to it a little bit, kind of getting that endothermic reaction to happen a little bit faster and to kind of get the epoxy to flow a little bit better. So far, it's, I think it's looking okay. You really wanna put that heat to it. We really get it warmed up and it kind of really starts to ripple and starts to take effect. And you get this kind of marbling effect, which is really cool which is what I'm going for. But the last step in the process is to take a popsicle stick. You could use also a syringe for this. You put a small line of black at the top 
And again, with the heat gun, we're gonna heat that up and kind of blend that back into the surface. And yeah, let me explain exactly what we were going for. All right, much better. To me, now this is what a beach scene actually looks like. And if you, I mean, you can see like the, the waves coming in and the white caps on the sand and all that, all that good stuff. Well, maybe not. I, I think I just used the wrong colors. Although, I got a trick. I got a trick. I got a trick. I got a trick. All right, so here's the trick, guys. This does not look very good, and I understand that. And that was the idea. And I have a phone here set with the colors inverted. And you can see just how much this resembles now what we were going for. Sorry for the reflections, but unfortunately I wasn't able to film this with the colors inverted, but this was kind of a cool little experiment. This is gonna go up on the wall and when your friends come over, if you make something like this, you can tell them, hey, look, invert the colors on your phone to reveal its true beauty. What do you think of that, guys? I'm curious to know. Again, sorry for the reflections, but what a cool way to use resin. All right, now I know this was a crazy idea, but I think it was pretty fun. And again, this is gonna go up somewhere in the house and we're gonna have friends come over and they're gonna say, oh yeah, you did a really nice job with that. And you know, of course you're gonna ask them to invert the colors on their phone. They're gonna see the true beauty in this. I've actually taken a few pictures and I'm gonna post them up here of just how it looks when it's inverted. And uh, you can get a pretty good sense of trying to color match an inverted photo. And that's, that's basically what I did with this. Um, I know maybe some of you were, were pretty keen on what I was doing during the process. And if you weren't, I hope it was somewhat of a shock to see it turn out this way. And uh, yeah, fun little project, guys. I wanna thank Total Boat as well for sponsoring this video. I've got a coupon code down below, of course, called Glimpse In. You can save 15% for the next 30 days since this video is launched. So get down there and get yourself some of this stuff. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Chris. We'll see you on the next project. And until then, get out there and make something, Lee.